at least once a year. Now it's been what, every couple months, every couple weeks. The violence is consistent with the trend in recent U.S. history as mass shootings have become more frequent and more deadly. Something needs to happen. The deadliest U.S. shooting happening just last month in Las Vegas, killing almost 60 people and injuring over 500. People then start to say, is this the new norm? Uh, and it takes almost something catastrophic then to happen for people to then react, which uh, from a psychological standpoint is not a good phenomenon. And just about a month later, November 5th, the deadliest church mass shooting in the U.S. in Sutherland Springs, Texas, killing almost 30 and injuring dozens. You just get used to it and you hear about it. But are these mass shootings becoming just numbers? The desensitization that's happening is very, very unfortunate. What we are seeing is that it has to almost impact you personally for it to then continue to to be a factor in your life. When is it a cousin of mine? Okay, it's not a cousin of mine or it's not a friend of mine and it's sometimes you just keep going. Dr. John Lucens, chairman of the psychiatry department for Corpus Christi Medical Center, says these types of reactions could be from feeling helpless. People then learn not to react because they find that no the reaction is not helping. In depression uh, and in trauma, there is a sense of hopelessness, there's a sense of avoidance, of uh, don't talk about it, of bury your guilt. However, it does have an impact on how kids will react with trauma. The presence of all this violence impacting our children day by day does cause them to become more immune. And it is important for this topic to be discussed with them completely. What is safe in terms of gun safety, and I also have to learn what is safe and not. So understanding that there's people out there that might use these in a, in a dangerous fashion and to be aware of their surroundings at all times.